The copyright lobby hasn't really been shy about pressing their case, and they're doing it in a new place that we never thought before, first grade classrooms. According to a new LA Times report, um, the, copyright, the Center for Copyright Information, which is backed by the RIAA and the MPAA, respectively, uh, is pushing to put this curriculum of anti-piracy in six-year-olds' classes. It, I mean, this doesn't surprise me at all. It I should mean, surprise whenever, you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe I'm jaded. I, whenever you know, a government agency wants to uh, convince a new generation that you know, the popular opinion is wrong, mm -hmm. you know, many people have issues with our copyright policies, you get little kids. You teach them you know, what you want them to know. And These are the people behind CISPA, by the way. So I'm wondering, is this their attempt to change the next generation of young people? Yeah, I mean, their biggest opponent right now is, you know, younger to middle-aged people who have internet connectivity and a voice. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to stifle that voice by making the next generation their voice. It, it makes perfect sense. It's the only way to fight, you know, the vox populi is by to changing what they're saying. Yeah, stop that Daisy Fitzroy. Yeah. He's a Bioshock reference. Um, <laughs> yes, it is. So this, this curriculum they're pushing in California schools, it's called Be a Creator. The proposed curriculum would target, oh, I'm sorry, not first grade, kindergarten through sixth graders with lessons like respect the person, give credit. It's great to create and copyright matters. Um, which, yes, it is great to be a creator. And yes, you know, it's, you should give credit. Like if I use someone's song, I'm definitely going to say I use so-and-so's song. But I feel like this, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a mask to their agenda. And also, do we really need this in the already full curriculums for uh, elementary school? There's, there's, there's enough in there that there's, there's more that the kids should be learning besides like do what the copyright uh, lobbyists tell you to do. I it's, mean, it's wasting valuable time and money. They're making a generation of people, uh, they're, that don't have access to art programs and music programs and any sort of creative outlet to create their own things, but then they're telling them, you know, be a creator, be creative, don't copy other people's <laughs> ideas, but we're not gonna give you an opportunity to create those ideas. Do you wanna you're... learn how to play the trumpet? Well, well fuck you. <laughs> just respect <laughs> copyright laws when you're not playing the trumpet. So that is pretty damn ridiculous. Um, it's still, it's not in schools yet, but they're, according to this article from the LA Times, there is a very strong effort to make it a part they're of those curriculums. The curriculum, they're developing right. it, they're, they're making it, they're pushing very hard to get it into our public schools. I think this is ridiculous. I think the biggest problem with this is that it's not the copyright owners, it's not the people that have created anything that have a problem with it, it's the people that make money off of it. Mm -hmm. So it's not an effort to like curb plagiarism and stuff, it's just an effort to stop stealing from rich people. <laughs> that's, that's the whole motivation be be behind this entire movement is we could be making more money but your piracy is ruining this for us. That is a very good point. I mean, it's uh, of course we're, we've been teaching kids for years. Don't plagiarize. Make your own work. But this this goes so f much further beyond that into ridiculous territories. Um, at least I think. What do you think? Well, please let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more stories like this, please subscribe.